not not working perfectly fine with well Apple's well MacBook. So may, maybe sometimes I have to connect it again. And well, any, anyway, so well, so I'm I'm gonna talk about non-commutative Del Petro surfaces and mostly well something that I have been doing with Tariq Abdel Gadil and Shinosuke Okawa. And but so let me start with an well introduction. So why do we care about non-commutative varieties and what they are? Maybe many of the audience doesn't know well, what they are. And, and so well ba basically, well, so the algebraic geometry is well, well, some well study of well community rings and and maybe well something good together well well out of community rings and some well and, and so it's well based on community ring theory and then non community algebraic geometry is well a, an attempt to generalize it to non community rings so and, and so why, why do we well want to study them so well one one obvious well motivation is that well so it's a generalization so so and then there should be well so and there are many interesting non community rings well and so so we we want to well it's maybe i should do something more well, I, I i didn't expect well to, to have the, this problem this often. I, I sometimes have to connect again in, well, once in 30 minutes or something, but anyway, well, so, yeah. So then non community rings are, yeah, well, there, there are many interesting non community rings. And so, so we want to study them geometrically. And so, and, well, one of them is well, Scleaning algebra, and, and so that that's one of the central well objects that have been studied in, in this field, and that, that came from integral systems, well, like bed ansatz, and so that that's one motivation, and well, another motivation, maybe even more recent ones, are that community. Well, the world of community varieties are too small to do certain things. So, for, for instance, well, if you look at the well, well, abelian category of coherent sheaves on well, a community variety and consider deformation of abelian abelian category, then well, often they they are no longer they no longer come from well, community varieties. So, community varieties can deform to non-community varieties. And and there are also well if you go to well derived categories then situation get even worse or even more interesting so there are Fourier Mukai transforms well uh, often so well so I mean there there are well cases where community varieties are derived equivalent to non-community varieties and. Last but not the least, the mirror symmetry is another motivation to study. And that, that's well, my personal motivation, but so to study well non-commutative algebraic geometry. So so if you want to well do mirror symmetry, then well sometimes the well the category of well community varieties is too small to look for mirror, and sometimes well a natural mirror can be found in non-commutative world. And another, well, maybe even more, well, bigger, I would say, motivation is, well, that, that the, well, the, the, this third motivation, quantization of space is related to that, the first two, but, but it's more, well, vague, but broad, and it's more ambitious. And, and so we, we want to study, so, so, well, we, we know that, well, in the 20th century, the, well, in, in a microscopic level, the, the, the nature is governed by, not, not by classical mechanics, but by quantum mechanics. And so we want to, well, hmm. 
you know, we, we want a theory of spaces which, well, works nicely with quantum, or we, we want to quantize spaces. And well, it, it can mean, well, it, it, it is, it's not obvious at all how to define well, what it means to quantize the space. But anyway, that, that's one, one of the motivation to study non-community varieties. And now one attempt to well, define non-community varieties is given by Artin and Jan. And so, well, the, this is Artin Jan style non-community variety. So, and it's, well, a generalization of projective varieties. So um, polarized non-community variety is, well, it, it's a triple consisting of a Netherian abelian category and an object, well, which should be a non commutative version of structure sheaf and an order equivalence, which is, well, non commutative analog of, well, tensor by an ample line bundle. So, so given such a triple, then, well, and, and you, you need to assume, well, certain conditions and, well, it's a bit more annoying that to, to, yeah, this is disconnected to, to frequently these devices. Well, I, yeah, I, well, I, anyway, so, hmm. so. Veda san? Yeah. So, why you need digital paper for this? Well, may, maybe, yeah, maybe I don't need it. Yeah, well, I, I was planning to write something on, but um, maybe, maybe I can, yeah, yeah, try something else. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, that, mm, yeah, that disconnects too often. So, yeah, I, I'll, all right. Yeah. Maybe this is better. Th thank you for the suggestion. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Artingian style non-commutative project variety is a well triple and satisfying certain conditions and and. So. The, the, these three conditions, well, the, the first one is the obvious one. And then, uh, well, second one is uh, some finiteness. Well, that, that's also very natural thing to assume. And uh, the third condition is that, uh, well, yeah, it's a uh, non commutative analog of Sarah's, well, well, theory. And so for, you yeah, so in, in the well, so the, the this is an well non commutative well generalization of the notion of ampleness, and so the, these two conditions you 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 should well you should look more or less familiar or natural to algebraic geometers, commutative algebraic geometers. And by, by the way, so the, this H zero means just home in this abelian category from all. So well the. Well, maybe you can, well, well, look at these conditions for, for stare at these conditions for, for, well, for a while and, and yeah, you know, feel that everything looks natural. And well, somewhat surprisingly, the, these conditions, well, is enough, strong enough to ensure that, well, the, this abelian category A is, well, 
well, it's a cougar of something. Well, th this cougar is a quotient. So, so this gure is then the category of, well, graded modules of a, a graded ring A, where a, a is defined in this way. Well, so the, the, this A is, well, by, by the way, can, can you see the cursor? Yes, we can see it. Oh, all right. It's so so then, then it's convenient. So, so, yeah. So the, 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 this A, well, so it is a ring. Well, so, so, and, and so over this graded ring. Ah, uh, so, but by the way, the, 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 there is a typo here. So the, the, this should run from one zero to infinity, and the, this is OI. Sorry. And, and yeah, so, so. So if I'm using digital paper, then I can yeah, correct it. But in, anyway, so, well, so the, this is, well, so the, so you have a graded ring and then, and I have no idea why I made this typo, but anyway, so, so over this graded ring, you have the category, Abelian category of, well, well, finitely generated, well, graded modules. And then you have a full subcategory consisting of torsion modules. Well, where, where torsion means just, well, finite dimension over K. And then, well, the, the, this Gure is an, well, Abelian category, and, and this Tore is a ser subcategory, well, Meaning that you can take a ser quotient to obtain another Abelian category, and then well, so the, the, these conditions, well, especially the sampleness, is, is sufficiently strong to ensure this equivalence of Abelian categories. So, so another way to put it is that well, the, this object O, together with all of its shifts, generate well, the category. And they, they have sufficiently sufficient information to reconstruct the whole category. And so originally, the, the, so the, so Sarah, well, well, introduced a description of the, uh, of the Abelian category of coherent sheaves on a projective variety using the, the, this kind of this description, well, uh, as a Sarah caution of, well, the, the category of graded modules by the well zero sub category of torsion modules, and well everything works well in, also in the non commutative world. Well, so if you start from an well Abelian category with nice well object and, and then some well auto equivalence, then well it will. Yeah. Well, describe that in, in this way, and well, but some, somewhat surprisingly, well, if you start from a ring and con construct an Abelian category, then to to have well, well, um, well, th this kind of triple, you you need some condition on on this ring A and called condition chi, and then that's somewhat subtle. We that's a subtlety which doesn't appear in the commutative case, but we, we don't. We are not going to discuss it today. And anyway, so so well, th this is one formulation of non-commutative varieties, and it's well, and it may, maybe this is not the ultimate well definition, but the, it's a good enough definition to work with for the moment. And and another well thing that I want to well mention is that well that so anyway so so a non commutative variety is not not a space but an abelian category and with, with some nice pro property and so and we then well, the category of coherent sheaves on on x the deformation of that is described by the second Hochschild homology of of, of the variety and well, the famous HKR isomorphism gives well an isomorphism of vector spaces of, of this form, and so there, there are well, 
So the, the, this HH2 describes, it's, it's a tangent space to, well, deformation of Abelian categories. And it has, well, three pieces, direct summons. And then the most, well, classical one is this H1 of P. So it's a classical direction. And uh, well, th there are but two other directions, the H0 of wedge two of Tx and then H2 of Ox. And then the second one, th this part is, well, th describe the, well, it's a tangent space to the space of Poisson structures. It's a space of, well, homomorphic bivector fields. So, and, and if they satisfy Jacobi identities, then it gives Poisson structures. So it's, well, so th this is the direction of Poisson structures, well. And, and so, and as is well known, well, if you have a ring and if you have an, a community ring and if you have a, well, non-community deformation of that ring, then the first order, well, of the deformation gives a Poisson structure on the, on the ring. And H2 of OX, well, gives the Jervy direction. So it's, well, kind of, well, change of gluing of, well, Abelian categories in, in the near, when you glue, well, affine pieces together to get X. So, so the, this Jervy direction is, well, yeah, different both from the classical direction and the, this non commutative direction, but it's a um, well, non commutative direction in the, in the broad sense. So, so, so th this HH2 well describes non commutative deformations, and H1 of Tx is the classical deformation. So, and, and th there is well, well, famous, well, well conjecture well which is I, I think it's more like a meta conjecture or or some well hypothesis but so um so and to to make this into a precise conjecture you, you one first have to well define what non commutative surface is of course there, there are well candidates and and so and and then you have to define what it means for non commutative surfaces to be birational and if you fix certain well choice for for the definition of these notions, then this will become conjecture. And but anyway, so so well, the uh, Artin's conjecture states that a non-commutative surface can be classified into three. And so one is a non-commutative project plane, and by uh, up to birational, and of course, and and, and that it's well, there are only three well classes of non-commutative surfaces. And one is non-commutative P2. And another one is an, well, non-commutative P1 bundle over a commutative curve. And the, the third one is the, well, is something which is finite over its center. So the third one is, well, somewhat close to a commutative case. And so, and so th this third well, kind of non commutative well, surfaces or varieties in general are the, the closest to the commutative well, varieties. And it, it's, of course, very interesting, but it's, you know, it, it's closer. And so it's not, not that well new to algebraic geometers. And uh, the first two are more exotic and and I will concentrate on, on the first one. Well, so after all, non commutative del Peto surfaces are something which is birational to non commutative P2. And, and now, well, so let me, well, discuss, well, what so, so non commutative P2 are. So they, they, they are, so, so first of all, well, the, the, this well definition is due to art in shelter, and so that that's why it is called AS regular. But so that that's a non-commutative analog of polynomial algebras. So it's um, yeah. So the Q group of this an AS regular algebra 
is a non-commutative analog of well projective spaces well and uh, the, the conditions are the following so so the first one is the obvious one so the connectedness and the second one well is well Gorenstein property which well commutative well polynomial ring has so but so because we are in non-commutative world so the, the, this well but by the way well when I say module of a non-commutative ring I always mean right modules so so the, the, these are our home so the, the k is a well so obviously a right a module and a is of course a right a module so and, and if you take our home as an a module then well in well in principle you will get just vector spaces but because a also has a left module structure so the, the, the this well well in quasi isomorphism should be in the well derived category of left a modules that, that that's one well well remark a anyway so th this is a gorenstein condition and and as regularity is uh, well so it, it should be connected and and as gorenstein and then well polynomial growth condition means that that, that well like Hilbert well, series is a well polynomial. So so that yeah I mean so it, it doesn't so as a gray ring one has a Hilbert series and it doesn't grow exponentially. So that, that's polynomial growth condition. And also, well, A must have global dimension D. So so it's a homological finiteness condition. And this is one well trivial remark, but so so maybe one might think that well well free algebra is a non-cumulative analog of polynomial algebras, but it's not. It's very far from being as regular. It's neither as Gorenstein nor well polynomial growth. Well, it is obvious to see, but it so so. So AS, AS regular algebras are very different from well free algebras. They they must have relations and to to make it well reasonably small and well behaved. And and so Alkin shelters well define this AS regularity. In, they introduced this notion, and then well they proved that they, they, so. If you look at well dimension three, so 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 it's a non-commutative analog of well polynomial ring in three variables, and if you assume that it is generated in degree one, and then well there, there are only two possibilities for the resolution of the simple, so either of this form where, where it is called quadratic, or of this form. So so. So the, this first case is called quadratic because the relations are quadratic. And the sec in the second case, the, the relation of the ring is cubic. So a quadratic S regular algebra is generated by three well, well, variables or three elements in, of degree one. And it has, well, three quadratic relations. And the cubic S regular algebra have, well, Two well generators in degree one, and well two cubic relations, and these are the, the only possibilities. So so yeah, th this gives us a hope of classifying all of them, and and well soon after, Artin Tate Vandenberg gave a classification of S regular algebras in in dimension three, and. So there, there are cases where, where well, the Kugel gives, well, coherent sheaves on P2, and, and let, let me exclude them, well, because it's, well, less interesting. So it doesn't give, well, anything new as a category of, as a category. So even if, yeah, this A is non-commutative, it, it sometimes happens that, well, Kugel A is, well, equivalent as an abelian category to 
well, the category coherency is on P2. So, so and if we exclude that, that kind of thing, then, well, they, they, they are classified by triples of, well, where E is a possibly singular genus one curve, and L is a very ample line bundle of degree three on E, and sigma is an automorphism of E. So, and not, not all E, L, sigma is allowed. The, the L and sigma must have, well, relations. So, well, basically the, the, there are two parameters, well, to, and, and so, well, so they come in two parameter family. So hmm, basically the elliptic curve and, and well, and line bundle and well, so the, the, if you fix L, then sigma must well have some compatibility with L. So it, it can't be arbitrary, but anyway, so so it's classified by well this kind of triple. So the, the, these are very commutative objects. So so it's a very classical well well algebra geometric object. So it's kind of surprising that. Well, non commutative rings are classified by something like this. And it, so th this is a quadratic case. And in the cubic case, well, it's also well classified by triples while well, consisting of a genus one curve. And, and in, in this case, we have a line bundle of degree two and an automorphism. So, so th this degree two and three come from, well, two. Uh, no, no, this three and two. So, so well, in the quadratic case, well, we have three generators. And in the cubic case, we have two generators. And, and that's related to a degree of this line bundle L. And I, I will not go into the deep how, how this is done, but it's a, well, it's a very important and non-trivial work. And, and it's very interesting. And, and then, well, subsequently, Bondal and Polishuk, well, we formulated this Artintet Vandenberg result from another point of view and gave, well, new, new light to, to this story. And I'll explain that. So they, they use, well, Z algebras. So recall that an algebra is, well, the same. Thing as a category with one object. So, and similarly, a Z algebra, the shortest way to define Z algebra is as a category whose set of objects is identified with the set Z of integers. So, it's a very simple well, definition, and it's an, obviously it's a generalization of the notion of algebra. And, and an A module is a functor. Well, so, so the, the, this is the same both for the for an algebra and for Z algebra. So it's just a well functor to the category of K, K vector spaces. And another way to well define Z algebra is well as an algebra with this kind of well direct some decomposition as a K vector spaces. And so and the relation is, well, this one. So Aij is home of J from, uh, uh, from J to I. So, so well, the, the, this order of Ij is chosen in such a way that it's compatible with the, well, composition of morphine in, in the category. And maybe some people use the other, well, notation, but so let, let me use this notation today. So anyway, so 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 th this is a well relation between the two description of well Z algebras. One is as a category with Z many objects, and another one is an well algebra with this kind of well direct some decomposition as a K vector spaces, and and of course the, the compatibility of well multiplication and that. Uh, uh, so, so the, 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 this is well. So the, the, 
th these three conditions are well su such that the so another way to put them the axiom of categories so so and and the, this is well well if you write down a down to earth well description of well what what it means to have a well factor from this category to the category of k vector spaces so so the, anyway so so z algebra is just a k linear category whose set of objects is identified with z and then the then Kugel of Z algebra is well defined in similarly as the well. So the Z algebra is a generalization of graded algebras. So uh, well, maybe maybe I should explain it first. Well, anyway, well. So a Z algebra, so so the, this is more or less obvious. Well, definition of non-negativity. So so, it, you, you, so th there is no well home between i and j if well j is smaller than i. So that's non-negativity, and the connectedness is well, uh, and in this condition. So so mm, that's an obvious generalization of the connectedness of graded algebra. And then be, being a torsion is also, well, the, the definition is the same. And then, so this Gure is a category of, well, A modules. Well, so, so it, you, you can also write mod A, but uh, well, I will prefer to write Gure. So it's an analog of graded modules. And and this tor a is a well subcategory, and if you well quotient out, then you will have what what one has well the q group well, so it's a quotient abelian category, and if if you you start from a graded algebra, then well. So there's an obvious way to construct a Z algebra out of a graded algebra. And that's well defined in this way. And, and th this operation, well, doesn't change Q group. Uh, and, and also, well, not, not every Z algebra comes from a graded algebra. And there's an, well, and, and it's obvious to characterize one well, that algebra is coming from a graded algebra, and that that's the, this condition. So the so the so one, one periodic periodicity is the condition for that algebra to come from a graded algebra. And well, a slightly subtler well well problem is to characterize when well two graded algebras give isomorphic Z algebras. So sometimes, well, non-isomorphic graded algebra give isomorphic Z algebra. But by the way, an isomorphism of Z algebra is defined in the obvious way as an equivalence of categories. So Z algebra is a category whose set of objects is Z. And then isomorphism of Z algebra is just equivalence or, or isomorphism of categories. Yeah. And, and 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 so 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 I don't define what Jan twist is. So so the, the, this is a remark for, for for those who know what Jan twist is. But to for those who doesn't know what Jan twist is, it can be defined as well. In uh, so so. You can say that A and B are related by Jan twist if they they have well and um, this isomorphism of that algebras. 
So you can well, use it as a definition of well, the notion of being related by the junk twist. And I, I just wanted to say that, well, sometimes, well, non-isomorphic grade rings give, well, isomorphic uh, dead algebras. Well, and then, well, if we, well, go to the world of dead algebras, then, well, one can define, well, well, quadratic S regular algebras similarly to the case of, well, uh, S regular algebras. So in, in the AS, so, may, may I, mm, so, so the, the mm, so, in the world of well z algebras, well you have well projective well modules well for for each for each i in z well so so e i is the identity well of of the category and then this e i a is a uh, well right well projective right modules and so for for each i you have projective module and also a simple module. So the, this SI is the same as K as a K vector space, but so has an A module structure, right A module structure but by this formula. And so, so th this is one dimensional because A is connected. And then, well, so S regularity in the world of Z algebra can be defined in, in this way by, by assuming that, well, the simple i simple object have this kind of resolution. So it's, well, and the, you, you can see that the, the, this is, well, well, exactly the same structure as the Cauchy resolution of the simple in the polynomial ring in three variables. So, so it's a, so it's a slight generalization of the, polynomial ring in three variables as a graded ring generated in degree one. So that, that's, well, three-dimensional quadratic AS regular Z algebra. So it's a long name, but it's not, and, and it's not necessarily commutative. So, so it's a, a, a generalization of, well, polynomial ring, but so it, it's not, so scary or, or unnatural thing to look at. And well, so Bondal Polishik, well, gave a classification of, well, well, S regular quadrat three dimensional quadratic S regular Z algebras in terms of, well, geometric objects. So it's a triple consisting of an, well, elliptic curve and two line bundles. So it's a triple. So in the case of, well, Artin Tate Vandenberg, it's a triple consisting of an, a genus one curve, a very ample line bundle of degree three, and an automorphism of E. But in the Bondal policy case, so, so ATV well, classified uh, uh, S regular algebras, so not, not Z algebras, but just graded algebras. And Bondal policy classify Z algebras. So and so that 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 difference well gives well the difference. Uh, so 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 in the ATV case it's well an elite uh, a genus one curve line bundle and old morphin and, and in the in the BP case it's well genus one curve and two line bundles and the relation is just this. So so if you are given well well this triple and where a sigma is an old morphin, then you can just consider well that well pullback of L by this old morphin. And then well Generically, E is an elliptic curve, and, and L is a degree three line bundle. So, so, 
So even if, well, you, so when, when sigma is a three torsion translation, then it, it doesn't do anything to a uh, uh, line bundle of degree three. So, so th th this, well, map is generically nine to one. So, and, and th this, well, well, means that there are, well, al algebras which are non-isomorphic, but the associated z algebras are isomorphic. And, and we, we can define non-cumulative P2 as q guru of, well, three-dimensional quadratic S regular algebra, or you can, well, consider z algebras, and they, they give the same thing. But z algebras is better because they, they correspond precisely to well isomorphism classes. So isomorphism of non commuted P2 is defined as well equivalence of Abelian categories. And the, the set of well line bundles is well it's not not that obvious, but it's known that they, they can be characterized categorically. So so this well Z algebra is defined well 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 canonically from from the structure of the category, whereas that well well in the Artin Jan style well case you you have to choose well and so some triple well and the choice of all is okay but the choice of well. Well, shift by one or or ten, tensor by ample line bundle, some, something like that, it is not you, you cannot choose it canonically from the category. There are generally nine to one choice, and that that leads to well that discrepancy between the well Artinte Vandenberg's work and Bonald Polish work, and Bonald Polish work is more well more canonical or categorical, so. Z algebras are well somewhat nicer thing to look at. So so the, the, this well so looking at Z algebra is just well looking at line bundles. So so it, it's a full subcategory of the category of cushion sheaves on, on non commutative P two consisting of line bundles. So that that's the Z algebra in, in, in this bond of policy work. So and so in, in a P2 case, well, th there is a very natural well, well, uh, well, object, a sequence of objects to look at. But well, in, in more general case, th th there is well, th things get less canonical. And in, in a P P1 cross P1 case, well, so th th this is well, so. Vandenberg well, well, introduced an, an the notion of three-dimensional cubic S regular Z algebras. And so the, the version without Z here is well, strictly smaller in, in this case. And so recall that in, in Artin Ted Vandenberg's work, well, the cubic S regular algebra were classified by triples. But in, in, in this Vandenberg's works is classified by quadruples. And they, they, they have, they, they come in three parameter family. And well, may, may, maybe I shouldn't say too much about more the, in these, but it's very similar to the P2 case. And it's, it's a, well, a genus one curve and three line bundles of degree two and so they they yeah they allow one to classify well s regular z algebra, cubic s regular z algebras and a non commutative p1 cross p1 is defined as an abelian category of the form q a for for cubic s regular z algebras so that that's well a definition due to Vandenberg and it's it's reasonably good well definition and yeah. 
maybe it's not the only choice, but yeah, apparently it's a good choice. So, and now, well, let me, well, and well, why we, we should look at the, so, and, and yeah, well, so, and I, I have to explain what, why we you know, look at this kind of thing and, hmm. Well, and the notion of hel helix is introduced by Russians, and I think, and and Bondal Polish work is well, well, heavily motivated by that tradition, and but so let, let me be very brief about the, these definitions, and so and so so. And now, now we shift from the Abelian category to, to the derived category. And we, we consider, well, enhancement, DG enhancement. So, so we look at DG category. So, so the, this D is a um, DG enhancement of derived category. That, that's what we have in mind. And an object in a DG category is said to be exceptionally if it, it satisfies this. So, so home is just the identity. And there's no, so th this is a home complex. So th th this is well quasi isomorphism in the derived category of k vector spaces. So 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 home is concentrated in, in degree zero and just well spanned by identity. That that's the, what it means to be exceptional. And an exceptional collection is well a sequence of objects satisfying this condition. And it's called full if it generates the DG category. And a helix is a some, something like well well periodic well sequence of exceptional objects. And periodicity is like this. So so we re call that that well cell functor sh shifted by well minus D is if D is a dimension of the variety and then if D is a derived category in shifts, then this is just Tensor by a, uh, I think, in cell factor is tensor by a uh, canonical one. May, 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 maybe this is minus, but anyway, so so it's period, almost periodic. But so so if you move one period, then it will be tensored by anti-canonical well line bundle. So so that that's helix. Well, so if you have a well full exceptional collection, then you can construct a helix out of that, and then it's called a cyclic if well one has this condition. So so home vanishes well for positive or non 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 zero well k if i is smaller than j, and if i is equals j, then that that that's well must be this because of ex exceptionality. And well, and a cyclic helix. Well, so recall that well, a Z algebra is just a category whose set of objects is identified with Z. So, in particular, a helix produces an Z algebra, and and because of this condition, it will be connected. So the, the, this condition is well, and kind of connected this condition. And then, well, so on P2 and P1 cross P1, one has th this kind of, well, helix, which is a cyclic. So, and, and the, the, these are, well, yeah. So the, these helix are behind, well, Bondal Polish's work and also Vandenberg's work. And then, well, yeah. Uh, our proposal is that that well hmm. yeah so to, to define a well non-commutative petal surface you you first pick up a helix 
or an acyclic helix on a commuted del Peto surface. And then, well, it will uh, allow one to define, well, well and so a generalization of S reg regular Z algebra. So, so S regular Z algebra are defined by, well, the, the form of, well, resolution of the simples. And so, so may, maybe I'm, well, well, we, we will see example in, in a later slide. So we, here, here, let me just say that one well, a cyclic helix is, well, the, well, allows one to, well, define, well, a certain kind of S regular Z algebra. And th this type is, so, so for, for instance, you, you, so for, ah, sorry, for, yeah. For for this helix, one 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 obtains a quadratic S regular algebra, and for this helix, one obtains the notion of cubic S regular algebra, and, and so 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 for 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 each well a cyclic helix on a del Peta surface, you, you will one can define generalization of these notions, and then a non commutative weak del Peta surface is cubic of that S regular Z algebra. And well, and then given the non commutative weak del Peta surface in this sense, one can one can define well the notion of structure shift in a suitable way. And also, well, one has zero functor. And then well, if well, yeah, some some yeah power of zero functor is ample, then well, so so the so, so mm, Artin Jan's notion of ampleness is well some something in between well being ample and very ample. So 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 we we use this as a definition of well so the, the, this is kind of ampleness of the zero functor, but or the, the minus the zero functor. But, so the, this is a tentative definition of well being a non commutative del Peta surface. And we, we believe that th this is a reasonably good definition, even if it's not the ultimate definition. And then, well, so essentially by definition, well, a non commutative weak del Peta surface has an acyclic helix. So, and, and so if you take the first L object, then one will get a full strong exceptional collection. So it will be described by a quiver with relations. And the, the, the quiver doesn't depend on, on the one, well, well, on the choice of one. Well, so if you fix a deformation type of one, well, the del Peta surface, and so if you fix a type of del Peta surface and also fix an one, well, a helix on the commutative del Peta surface, then the, well, the quiver doesn't change and only the relations changes. And so, so we introduced the notion of, well, moduli of relations of a fixed quiver. It's defined in an obvious way, but so, so, and, and if we, so, so we are, so, so in some sense, we fix generator of the category and and we look at the uh, endomorphism ring of the generator, and then so the, the endomorphism ring of the generator is described by generator and relation, and and generator doesn't change, and, and only the relations change. So the relation encodes the the deformation of the well of the space and non commutative del Peta surface in this case. So then deformation is well, described by well, relations. And then, so the, the moduli space of relations that we have introduced contains the moduli space of marked del Peta surfaces uh, as an well, well, locally closed sub subspace. So it's, well, it's some 
larger dimensional moisturized space which contains the, the moisturized space of community objects as a well as a subspace. So and also well so the, the, these are just stacks so so not not necessarily very nice as a as a space but you, you can also construct well compact moduli scheme by well uh, using GIT. So using GIT also has a drawback, but but so so we, we will not have universal family in general. And so 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 but but so if you want a scheme and then well one way to obtain a moduli scheme of uh, or even compact moduli scheme of non-commutative delta surfaces is using well, well, so by looking at the moduli of relations and 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 you, you can well instead of stack you, you can take GIT quotient and then you will have some moduli space of well non-commutative delta surfaces and well in, in the case of Cubic surfaces, we, we have proved that, that the configuration space of six points on P2 is contained in, in this well, compact moduli. And then that, that, that kind of story works for, well, uh, ex works except for P2 blown up at one point or two points. So, so the, these are the cases where the automorphism group is not reductive. So th there's no KNI symmetry. Can, and we, we don't know if it's related to, well, the, the lack of, well, not nice, well, uh, description of our moduli space, but maybe it's related, but so we, we don't have any direct connection, but, and, and so except for these two cases, we, we have a, well, reasonably nice moduli, you know, compact moduli scheme of, uh, non-commutative delta surfaces. And so for, for non-commutative P2, well, the moduli is very, well, simple. So it's a weighted projective. So th this is a, well, compact moduli. And, and it's, well, the, the, this space, well, weighted projective space. And, and for non-commutative P1 cross P1, it's also, it's three-dimensional weighted projective space. And for, Non-commutative cubic surfaces, well, the quiver looks like this. And then, well, the moduli space of relations has this kind of description. And so the, the, this is quotient of 27 dimensional space by 27 dimensional torus, but there's an well, eight dimensional, well, well, kernel of the action and, and or stabilizer of the action. So, so the, this is an eight dimensional and toric variety. So because it's a quotient by torus, it's a toric variety. And it's eight dimensional and it contains, well, well, configuration space of six points in P2. And 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 similar story works for well and also for other well del beta surfaces. And and well, maybe particularly interesting in, in the case of the peso surfaces of degree two and one. And so, so in the cubic surface case, well, one, one has this kind of quiver. This, this describes the, the so generator of the derived category. And, and so the, this is a complete bipartite well, quiver of length three, three, three. But for, for degree two, it will become two, four, four. And for degree one, it will become two, three, six. Yeah, th these numbers should be familiar to many of the audience. But anyway, so so and so for, for these cases, the moduli space is toric. And so and and, and it well at least at, at the well stack key level it contains the configuration space of well seven point and eight point on P2. We, we we haven't studied well the well scheme the, the GIT quotient in detail, but it, it's just well some nine-dimensional and ten-dimensional toric variety. 
and and I I stop here and and but so so you you can yeah. there, there there are a few more pages on the slide but you can see it on on my website so I stop here thank you thank you um, Kazushi are there any questions anyone. Could you go back to the slide of a non committed P2, please? Like yes. Several pages. Uh, this one? Uh, I see. I, uh, I meant to some, ask some question, but I, my memory was wrong. So uh, <laughs> the question disappeared. So. Well, no problem at all. And, and well, By the way, can can everyone see that the URL in the chat? Uh, well, so I, I have posted the, the URL for for the uh, slide in the chat. But yeah, I think maybe, so. maybe, maybe <laughs> I, I I'm not sure if some, someone who, who came later can also see see it. Well, maybe, maybe I can post it again here, but. And probably I will, yeah, link it from from somewhere from my website later. But at the moment, there, there is no link to th this slide. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. So actually, um, yeah. So I think if when you leave the meeting, you can't um, when we close it, the link will be gone. So mm -hmm. yeah, if you want to just click on the link now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the link. Uh, any other questions by anyone? No, okay. Um, I guess, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Kazushi, for your thank, talk. Thank you very much. And for yeah. posting the slides. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that it, well, yeah, it will be disconnected this often. But anyway, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank, thank, you. thank you very much for the suggestion, Yuji.